What's up guys, thanks for tuning in. And today is a very special video. We're going to be looking at how well the CA paint job holds up after 28,000 miles. The car doesn't have any kind of paint protection film, mostly a mistake on my part, but it gives us an opportunity to see how strong the paint will hold up against your typical rock chips and such. We'll also be looking at two different types of paint chip repair kits and seeing how effective they are and if they're truly worth it compared to just getting the front fully repainted. It's a fun and informative video today, so let's get started. So to start this video off, we need to do an evaluation of how many paint chips the C8 has so far. And I found that using some painter's tape and a hole puncher was an easy way to do that. We focused on paint chips that were visible to the naked eye from about two feet away. There were a lot of different size flaws and some of them were hard to pick up on the camera, but the tape helped at least show where the medium to big size paint chips were. So going into a bit of the car's driving history, the Z8 has done about 28,000 miles, with 40% of that being at highway speed and 60% of that on city and local streets. It's an important note that I've taken the Z8 on about five different car rallies, which tended to have a lot of exotic type cars rolling together, throwing tons of rocks up because of sticky tires. Ultimately, the factory paint job shows it's taken a bit of a beating with 73 paint chips that were marked in this video, all of which are showing the finish to be compromised and repainting the front bumper is gonna be necessary if I wanna to try to maintain a show finish paint quality. What this translates to is a definite need for paint protection film. And the earlier it's installed on the car, the better and less costly that install will be. So moving on to the paint chip repair side, we first need to do a clean and prep of the front bumper surface. Using any traditional car cleaner will do the job, but in my case, I use Adam's waterless wash. Any cleaner will work so long as you follow up with any kind of surface prep spray or non-rubbing alcohol. At this point is when I actually marked all the chips I was going to repair for the video. This part really isn't necessary unless you have a lot of chips you're wanting to repair and need to keep track of them all. For this comparison though, I did place tape down the middle to help show the difference between the two repair kits that we looked at. In this case, Dr. Color Chip was on the right and AC Delco was on the left. Starting with the AC Delco kit, this kit costs about $30 and uses a three application step, which includes flattening, paint, and overcoat. For the first step, we use the tip of the pen to sand and flatten any chips that needs it. If needed, you may need to reclean the surface after you sand it to ensure that it's flat. Next, you can apply the touch-up paint. The kit allows you to either use a brush or the black pen tip to apply the paint, depending on the size of the chip. Generally, the brush is for bigger paint chips while the pen is for smaller ones. In order to use the tip, you'll need to remove the stand off the pen. This was honestly a pain to remove, and I didn't really see a clear way to take it off without getting your hands dirty with paint, which was a little bit of a letdown. In any case, once you're ready to use the paint tip, all you need to do is push down on the tip, which will release paint in the area. Also, it goes without saying, you want to make sure that you shake the pen at least 30 seconds to make sure that the paint is evenly mixed before you apply it. You'll want to make sure to add just a small amount that just covers the chip, and then wait about 30 minutes to let the paint dry before moving on to step three. The last step is now using the clear coat over the dry touch-up paint. Use the clear coat brush provided inside the pen and lightly apply over the paint chip evenly. So as the left side part of the car dried, I moved on to using the other paint chip repair kit on the right hand side of the car. So you'll want to stick to the end of the video to see the final results and which one worked better. Now looking at the other repair kit, the Dr. Color Chip is slightly more expensive and ranges from $45 to $65 and uses a three step process but differs from the other by using paint, then a blending solution clear coat, and then buffing with a microfiber towel. So for this, the first step is using the dropper provided to place paint on the chip. Again, you'll want to make sure that you shake the bottle so that the paint is mixed evenly. To apply, the instructions will say to place a paint drop at the edge of the chip and then use the provided squeegee to level the paint. You'll want to wait about 15 minutes before moving on to the next step to allow the paint to dry. The next step is using the blender sealant mix. This honestly was the game changer for me in using this kit. The solution works by helping to dissolve and remove the excess touch of paint that you apply. When you apply with the provided non-lint cloth and use the flat palm of your hand, you can get a very flat finish that lays flush with the original paint job and then seals the paint. The solution takes a minute or two to fully dissolve the excess paint, so the key is to go slow and steady in a single motion either side to side or up and down. Afterwards, the last step is buffing the area, which requires a simple microfiber towel to wipe off the excess sealant. This part allows you to get back to the original shine that you have on your paint job. 
So after finishing up the right side of the car, I did a first pass look and saw that the kit was effective at clearing up about 70% of the paint chips on the first go, which is pretty good. I ended up playing around with this even more and found a better way to apply this kit personally, which gave me nearly full coverage on all my rock chips, which I'll show right now. So in order to get the best coverage using this kit, I actually found taking the squeegee out of the equation and just placing drops of the touch-up paint worked way better in filling the chips. The biggest thing is making sure that the drops are fully dry, which takes a little bit longer, but is worth the wait after step two. So with step two, that blender sealant solution is where it takes care of the hard work in removing the excess touch-up paint, but leaves a flat finish. Since you're dealing with drops of paint that are not flat, it takes more solution to blend flat and an extra minute or two, but makes a huge difference in the end. And the kit generally comes with a generous amount of the blend sealant mix, so you won't worry about running out. After which you can buff the area like you would originally to get the final shine. So looking after the second pass, we can see a huge difference and pretty much cleared 98% of the chips using this adjusted method, leaving only a couple of chips that honestly would have cleared too, but were deep and could have used another coating to get it fully fixed. Now with the right side done, we can come back to the left side and the AC Delco kit. So in removing the tape to see the results, I noticed that the tape caused the coat to lift, so ultimately I had to redo this side without the tapes in place. A mistake in my part, so that's something to keep in mind. So I won't go through the whole process again since I showed it earlier in this video, but it's the same process of flattening the area, then using the touch-up paint, and then finally the clear coat. And I decided to focus on just a few of the big chips on this side for the moment so I can show results for the comparison purposes. Now afterwards, I did a first pass look and saw that all the areas I had worked on were raised and noticeable using the box directions. And this is honestly where I feel like this kit falls short because the instructions are very limited and leave a lot to interpretation on how to successfully use this kit. I don't think I applied this as best I could, but then again, I didn't have well laid out instructions like the other kit did. In this case, the paint is a distinct different color, even though it should match, and the overcoat doesn't do a good job of blending to make it look like a flushed and even finish. Ultimately though, I was happy with how the Dr. Color Chip worked on the right side, so I decided to see what it could fix on the left side. I had gotten the $65 kit, so I had plenty of material left over to fix all these different spots, which was great. I used the same steps I found that worked great on the other side, starting with the drops of the touch-up paint directly on the chips, then using the blender sealant solution to flatten and remove the excess paint, and finally buff it all to a shine. It all worked great, minus a few spots which were actually caused by the AC Delco repair kit, which I'll have to go and fix at a later time. So in conclusion, ultimately the CA Corvette really does need a paint protection film to keep the high paint wear areas safe from the elements and driving conditions. If you don't have PPF, using the Dr. Color Chip Paint Repair Kit is your best option for removing paint chips that will closely match your OEM paint. It won't be as perfect as a full repaint job, but in most cases will do a great job and is a much more affordable option. As for the AC Delco kit, I wouldn't recommend them unless you're in a very desperate pinch since the kit I found was hard to use and didn't provide consistent results. But that concludes this video. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to add to the discussion, please feel to leave it in the comments below. So thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, please check out any of my other how-to videos like this one here for your C8 or car needs.